If you take ibuprofen, naproxen, aspirin, celecoxib, or any other anti-inflammatory daily or almost daily, did you know that it can be causing some terrible health consequences inside your body? Sometimes these things don't show up for years, even though you're doing the damage on a daily basis. Uh, this video is going to help you understand that. So if you're one of those people, you probably need to pay careful attention to what I'm going to teach you in this video because it could absolutely protect your health and even save your life. I'm Dr. Ken Berry, family physician. Let's talk about anti-inflammatories, why they're so ubiquitous, why we're taught that they're so safe and innocuous, and what the actual truth of the matter is. Now, there are some very large multi-billion dollar corporations who make and market and sell anti-inflammatories. And the reason that they do that is because there's billions of dollars in annual profit to be harvested from selling these drugs. Now, most people and even many doctors are unaware of what I'm about to tell you in this video, uh, even though it's fact and even though it's, it's well established in the scientific literature, I think you're gonna be surprised by some of these things. Now, the pain that you're taking that daily anti-inflammatory for is caused almost certainly by inflammation. And in many people's mind, inflammation is a bad word. It's, it's not good, it hurts. We should try to treat that and get rid of it as quickly and as completely as possible. But I wanna teach you something and it won't be painful, I promise. This is the healing cascade. Now, as you can see, typically what happens is you have some kind of injury, and then the next step in the healing cascade, the first step really, is inflammation, heat, swelling, pain, discoloration. These are the signs of inflammation. And a lot of people think, oh, that's a sign of injury, I should try to treat that, uh, and try to limit the, this, this inflammatory response. That's absolutely wrong. That's not true. And I'm sorry, but many doctors either never learned this or they have forgotten it in their very busy, busy lives. Inflammation is the first step for your body in the healing cascade. Then come these other steps. And I'm gonna show you two different ways to look at this so that you, you can see this is well known in the scientific literature. This is not up for debate. Now, let me show you this chart, and I promise this is as painful as it'll get, a little cellular, cellular biology here. So you see all these very complicated looking interactions with enzymes and other things. Over on here on this side of the chart, you see something uh, labeled COX, which stands for cy cyclooxygenase. These are enzymes that help this pathway go down. Now, underneath that, you see thromboxane and prostaglandins. Those are two very, very important things. All of the anti-inflammatories that you take on a daily or almost daily basis block this pathway right here. And, and that's what gives you the pain relief. That's what limits the swelling and other signs of inflammation. But that's, that's the first step in the healing cascade, the, the way your body heals. Now, these enzymes that the anti-inflammatories are blocking are highly conserved when you speak about them evolutionarily. All mammals on the planet, including you, my friend, have these pathways that lead to thromboxane and prostaglandins, and then all those other little sexy bits underneath them. Those things are very, very important, and they do hundreds of useful things in your body, including helping your body heal from an injury. And so when you take something on a daily or almost daily basis that blocks this ancient cascade of healing, that's not a good thing. Now, when, when, when anti-inflammatories, the, the non-selective COX inhibitors and the COX-2 inhibitors came on the market, we may not have known that then, maybe, but I think we did. But now it's very well known that th when you block this pathway, it leads to a set of known problems in the human mammal. When you're taking an anti-inflammatory, either daily or almost daily, it can deplete your body stores of iron and folate or folic acid. And indeed, this is the reason that many people, even though they're eating a good supply of red meat and organ meat maybe and seafood, still have anemia. And they're like, how can I have anemia? I'm eating red meat every day. 
it's because they're taking a daily anti-inflammatory, perhaps even multiple times a day for their chronic pain, for their chronic inappropriate inflammation, and it is depleting their body stores of iron and folate, both of which are used to make blood cells. Uh, taking a daily anti-inflammatory can all, absolutely has been proven to cause your blood pressure to be higher than if you weren't taking the anti-inflammatory. So again, many people have cleaned up their diet, they're exercising, but their blood pressure is still too high and they can't understand why that is. Anti-inflammatories taken regularly can absolutely cause that. Another thing that the, the literature shows very clearly that taking anti-inflammatories regularly can cause is they can cause your asthma to flare up or your asthma symptoms to be worse than they would be were you not taking the daily anti-inflammatory. Another very dangerous thing that can happen acutely when you're taking an anti-inflammatory is a bleeding event in your gastrointestinal system, in your stomach, in your esophagus, in your small intestine. You can have ulcers and other bleeding events that can be acutely life-threatening. These things are known proven to go way up in the odds of them happening if you're taking a daily anti-inflammatory. And one thing that many people don't understand is when you have an acute injury, remember the healing cascade we talked about earlier, if you start taking anti-inflammatories when you sprain an ankle or twist a knee or overwork your lower back, this can actually hamper your body's ability to heal that injury and can set you up for a lifetime of chronic pain in that area because the body wasn't able to heal it properly because you blocked the healing cascade. Therefore, it healed inappropriately. Therefore, you now have chronic pain in that area. Another thing that can happen that absolutely is proven to happen is even in healthy people, if you're taking an anti-inflammatory regularly, you are absolutely doing damage to your kidneys. And so another Great example is people who eat a pretty good diet or healthy, have a good lifestyle, but they have some degree of chronic kidney disease. And they're like, how the hell? I don't understand. It's because they're taking anti-inflammatories very, very often. This, uh, there's also research that shows that liver damage also probably comes from taking anti-inflammatories routinely. There's also a long, long list of drug interactions with anti-inflammatories that can make everything I just talked about much, much worse, much, much quicker. And I don't even have time to get into all the drug interactions with anti-inflammatories. But if you'll read the package insert that comes with your anti-inflammatory, you'll quickly see that there's a long list of medications that you should not take anti-inflammatories with, or it can greatly hasten your kidney damage, your liver damage, or damage to other organs of your body. So the question now becomes, okay, Dr. Barry, what am I supposed to do if I twist my ankle or if I sprain the knee or throw out my back or, or strain my neck? Good question. So uh, let's break up your pain into mild, moderate, and severe. If you have mild to moderate pain from your acute injury, then you should not take an anti-inflammatory at all. That pain is part of the inflammatory process which is the first step in the healing cascade. So if you can tolerate the pain, don't take any anti-inflammatories at all. Many patients, and evidently some doctors believe that anything they take that, that helps their pain is also helping that injury to heal. And that's absolutely false. Anti-inflammatories do not help it heal faster. They do not help it heal more completely. They actually do the opposite of that. They do help the pain. They do help the swelling. Yes, that's true, but those are parts of the healing cascade and you don't want to block those. So if you're having severe pain, that you're literally bed bound because your pain is so bad from this injury, then taking just enough anti-inflammatory so that you decrease your pain severity from severe down to mild or moderate, just for the first few days so that you can live your life and work your job and make your money and do what needs to be done, I think that's a, a, a common sense um, compromise. But in no world should you be trying to completely relieve your pain by taking an anti-inflammatory regularly. I've got a video about what to do if you have an acute injury that's gonna pop up. And then I have another video that you'll probably enjoy watching also pop up. 
Hope this video helped. This is Dr. Barry. I'll see you next time.